Hi and welcome to another Savage Seas Adventures. Today we're going over the Victorian border into New South Wales to Marimbala to see what it has to offer us. Our first stop is the Marimbala Beach Apartments. And of course we're eager to get into it Backing in the boat, unloading the boat, ready for our first adventure. Good morning guys, I'm at Marimbula Beach Apartments, I'm with Sharon and Alan. You guys have put us up for the past few days, mate, it's a magnificent resort. How long have you guys been here for? Five years. Five years, yeah. hard work? No, it's oh, pretty crazy. It's fun. Pretty crazy. I know you're out fishing all the time. Yeah. You're doing all the hard yards. Nice. The apartments are beautiful. We've got a spa bath in there. They're nice and clean. Everything's been taken care of beautifully. Good. Nice pool like you probably saw before in some of the still shots. Now, tell us a little bit about Marimbula. How's the season been this year? Yeah, it's been pretty good. Been yeah. pretty good? Yeah, it's yeah. been pretty busy. Christmas was busy. Yeah. Lots yeah, of people kept around. Us, uh, kept us going, hasn't yeah. it? Yeah. So is it all us Mexicans from Melbourne coming up here? Oh. Where do you reckon we're from? Yeah. Oh, well, there you go. Yeah. Yeah. Well, look, it, it's been a great couple of days that we've had up here at the Marimilla Beach Apartments. Have you got a website? We do. Yeah. Yep. And it is? www.marimbillabeach.com There you go. www.marimbillabeach.com Visit their website, come and see the guys, they really look after you. Yep. Great facilities, like you can see we've got our, our boat parking, yep. beautiful secured garages as well. So come and visit the guys down in Marimbula, you'll have a great time. Great place to be in it. Fantastic. Excellent. Thank you very much. No You're welcome, Thank it's a you. pleasure. <laughs> Welcome to Marimbala, the jewel of the Sapphire Coast. Marimbala, with its great climate, pristine beaches and abundant of natural beauty, it is the ideal location for your next family holiday. Good morning. Welcome to Marimbala, my second home. I'm here with a good friend of mine, Rick. Rick, we're going for a bit of a fish and a dive today. Yes, we are. I'm going to go for the dive and you're going to go for the fishing. Oh, well, we're going to try and get some fish there. Yep. So we don't know what we're targeting today. We're no, just playing it by just... ear to see how we go out there. But you know what? We've lost Charlie. Yeah. I, right. Look, I, I reckon what happened is he met up with some Maltese blokes last night and I reckon he's out playing bocce <laughs> out on the beach somewhere. <laughs> But that doesn't matter, we can do it without him. Yeah, yeah, let's do it. Well, I reckon we're in for a great day. We've got a perfect tide for everything. Yeah. So we're going to do some trolling. Uh, Rick's going to jump in the water and get, get some species as well with his uh, gun. He's fantastic with that, by the way. And I'm going to try and get some fish for the camera. We don't know what we're targeting. It's going to go out there and have a ball. That's what it's all about. Yeah, yes, true. Well, let's get out there and do it. Yeah, let's get out there. Keep watching. Of Marimbula. I've also caught frigate mackerel here. I've caught plenty of salmon, Taylor, Benito. Believe it or not, two years ago I was getting striped tuna in here. We're only 300 metres from the bar. Fantastic spot. We've got great water clarity, good colour. 
everything's right for us. Fingers crossed, I think we're gonna get into some fish. All else fails. I get Rick in the water and he's gonna get me a fish. What do you reckon, mate? Always, always get a fish, always. Excellent, mate. Well, he's gonna get in there. I'm gonna keep fishing. Let's see what happens, yeah, mate. Good luck. Right. Good luck. Okay guys, as you can see, I'm hooked up, and that other rod's going a little bit berserk. Well that one's just come off, so we've got a secondary one that's on. Really light outfit, fantastic fun. Hands get a little bit sore. It's always pretty important guys when you're fishing on your own or with a couple of blokes. Always make sure when you stop your boat you always watch out for these rocks as the swell does tend to push you into it. So always be wary of it. Fight your fish, have some fun. Don't get yourself into trouble. He might leap out of the water in a second. Bit of grief. Must be a nice fish. As you can see, I pulled the hook on both those fish. Not having much luck today. Anyway, let's go over and check out what Rick's doing. Ah, the beautiful clear water of New South Wales. These are banded moorwong. Notice how they're feeding on weed and grazing. A small groper. Rick's found some abalone. This is a large male groper. Look at the beautiful blue. Here we have a bastard trumpeter and a silver torelli. Which one will we go for? Yes, he picks the silver torelli. Just because the fish is bigger doesn't mean it tastes better. These are great eating. These guys are red mawong. What a beautiful looking fish.
It's just Silver Mari. More Red Mowong. Silver Mari. This place has a lot of Mowong. Mary Ras. There's some Australian salmon. Rick just can't get close to them. Let's go and see how Angie's doing back on the boat. Another Australian salmon. It's had a bit of a troll again. A bit of a troll. And we've hooked up pretty quickly actually. Now, I'm not going to high stick this fish too much. This is uh, not a bad fish actually on this light rod. Do have one rod in my way though. Show you can get out of the way. And here we are. All right, so we're out of that danger pit zone and I'm just about to let this fish. Beautiful. Nice little Australian salmon. Get him out in the net and I'll show him for you. Well, there you have it guys, another beautiful Australian salmon. Looks behind us having a dive. We're doing some trolling. These fish are really nice, fresh. We're gonna go home, cook these up into some steaks. And he almost fell out of my hands, fell back in the water. But there you go, Australian salmon, high in omega-3, great fish to eat. Get stuck in on. These are silver drummer. A beautiful looking fish. Have a look how clear the water is. Another blue groper. Hey, there's a Wobbegon. These are great eating fish, but you've got to be really careful. If they latch onto you, they won't let go. When spearfishing, we always encounter stingrays. You've got to be careful of those barbs. Silver Trevally. It's quite a few. I guess this is what they call schooling fish. Look at the colours in the starfish. More Morwong. As I said before, they're a fantastic looking fish. Yellowtail Yakas. And some pike. This is a red mullet. Europeans really love eating these fish. Beautiful colours. Oh, there's some Australian salmon. Rick Ames. Shoots. Here comes our man, Rick. Diver extraordinary. Rick, how'd you go, mate? Yeah, pretty good. Pretty good? Yeah, pretty good. We'll soon see, eh? Well, Rick, great job, mate. Well done. Thanks, mate. Good dive down there? Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's nice. Always a pleasure here. It's always a pleasure. 
I was having a bit of a hard time, mate. I lost quite a few fish, but you've come up with the goods. We're not going hungry, that's for sure. <laughs> now, mate, tell me, there's a couple of different species here. Trevally. It's silver brims. Trevally. Yep. Very good eating. Sashimi. Beautiful. Very nice. That's Sound. the one I'm going to eat him. He's not very big, but. Sounds good for me. Uh, Trumpeter. Yep. The old Eden favourites. Excellent. That's a good size one too, actually. Yeah. Actually, this boom's quite impressive. Yeah, it's a, it's a, see the blue? They start to get the blue? Yep. That's the, that's, see that on the snout? That's a distinct thing. Yeah. Once you get They're a little bit older. Using, yep. Up towards a kilo. So yep. they hit that kilo mark, they start to, to go up like that. Start to get blue. Red Moong again. Excellent. You don't get these in big. Well, I, I tell you what, there's, there's a problem here now, right? I've been fishing all day, <laughs> and I've got three fish. <laughs> But you've done really well, mate, so we're not going hungry, and I think you've got some cleaning to do, because I'm not going to help you clean, <laughs> just to pay you back. Did you uh, get any of these? We did, mate, yes. Did you know that they go up and down yeah, the beach along the gutter? Did you know we, that, we, did you? We actually know that, but, you know. <laughs> Well, we've just moved to another spot called the Hunter Reef, which is just off Marimbula and sort of Marimbula and Pambula. Just fishing for some live baits, to be quite honest, because we want to try for some kingfish. But this doesn't feel like a slimy mackerel that I'm after. Could be another another species, another variety of fish. It's got some light rods out. It's actually quite good fun. I've been here for about three minutes and caught five fish. And here it comes now. It looks to me like another undersized snapper. Oh, here you go. Little pinky. Well, we come, we come from Victoria up here to try and catch a king, and I'm still catching undersized pinkies. Nevertheless, it's another species. We'll pop it back in the water. Okay, we've just had another fish take off. It's a little bit bigger this one. Probably see Rick behind me as well. He's having a dive, having a look for some kings for us. Oh no, oh no, it's another pinky. Just a little bit bigger. There you have it. Another beautiful pinky. He's almost gonna go legal size, but we're gonna pop him in anyway. The first fish that Rick shoots is a blue moey. Have a look at all the red mawong. Unbelievable. Notice how they're all around the same size. A bastard trumpeter. A groper. This seafloor is around about 18.5 metres of water. Let's see what Ange has got. Another species. This one's actually a pike. Ugh. Now, these fish can be a nuisance. Because what they do is they take your sinkers off all the time. If you have a look in there, they've got a big set of teeth on them. They bite through your line and they do all sorts of weird stuff to you. And I'm getting a good bite on that other rod now, so I've got to go.
Ah, a long snouted boarfish. They are fantastic eating. Have a look at this. This is a grey nurse shark. Grey nurse sharks have suffered in the decline over the recent years, resulting in the listing of the East Coast population as endangered species. A New South Wales fishery survey in the year 2000 revealed that the number of grey nurse sharks in New South Wales could be as low as 294. Yeah, got some great nurses. That's pretty good, eh? About 11 foot long. Seen that one before? Now, I have not seen that before. Yeah. What is that? That is a long snouted duckfish. No, oh. it's a long snout, <laughs> long snout boarfish. Okay. But they do call it duckfish. Do they really? For obvious reasons. That's right. <laughs> now, I tell you what, I'm stopping. I'm not fishing any, any longer. Oh. You've just, you've done it all for me, mate. <laughs> That's amazing, that's a beautiful looking fish. Are they very common in these waters? Mm, they're not common, but they, they are here. Right. Yeah, they're usually deeper water where there's a bit more sand. Okay, brilliant. They're, well, they're, yeah, good fish. Good, good, stuff, good eating too. Well done. Thanks. <laughs> well, that was it for Rick's and Angelo's fishing and spearfishing adventure in New South Wales. Of course, there's still one thing to do, and that's clean their fish. And of course, you've got the stingrays waiting for a feed as well. After a hard day here in Marimbula, what a better place to come than the Marimbula Lakeview Hotel. Great meals, cold drinks, yeah. is what we need. Your drinks, food. As you can see, we're both pretty red in the face. We're gonna go upstairs in a second, have a great meal, and we'll show you inside as well. Okay, after a big day's fishing, I'm here with my friend Greg at the Marimbula Lakeview Hotel. We had a great meal, like you probably saw with some of those stills earlier on. Greg, tell us a little bit about the pub. Well, Ange, as you know, we've got a great bistro, um, fabulous meals. I eat here seven days a week, so I never get tired of it. If, oh, I tell you what, I don't get tired of it either. Now, you got a new chef as well? Uh, no, Hans has been with us for 12 years. Oh, okay. Singing for him, and uh, he cooks up a storm. He does. I tell you what, every time I've eaten here, it's been fantastic. Now, you got some of the other facilities here as well? We've got uh, accommodation, seven rooms, um, and uh, we've got two bars, we've got gaming machines. Uh, for those who like a, a bit of a punt on the, on the pokies. And uh, we've got raffles three nights a week. I know, because I've been to some of them and there have been some big nights here, I can tell you. Always a lot of fun, Ange. Yeah, sure is. Always well, a lot mate, of fun. Thank you very much again. The food was sensational. The accommodation's great. They've got a magnificent beer garden as well. So when you are in Marimbula, come and visit the Marimbula Lakeview Hotel. You'll absolutely love it. Greg, thank you very much, mate. Always a pleasure, Ange. Thanks. Good on you, mate. We just can't wait to get back up here. What do you? What about yeah, yourself? No, man? I love it. I love it. it that, that that hunter reef was fantastic, wasn't yeah. it? I haven't seen uh, fish like that for a long time. Excellent. Well, there you go, guys. We'll see you on another Savage Seas Adventures very soon.